boys and girls, it's Miss Gemma here. How are you today? In today's lesson, we're going to talk about division, but division with remainders. So let's remind ourselves, what is division? Division is when a collection of items are split into equal groups. This can also be known as sharing equally. But sometimes sharing equally isn't possible. We might have some items that are left over or not enough items to share with everyone. So when this happens, we call it leftovers or remainders. Let's take a closer look at some examples. So let's have a look at our first example, boys and girls. So I have some little grapes here and I have some plates. So we're going to divide these grapes into groups of three. So each group will have three in it. Okay, so let me just put that there. Okay, so we'll do our first group and we'll put three. So that's one group. We've still got more, so we need another group. Then we'll do another three here. So that's two groups of three. So we still have enough to do another group, so let's do that. So I have three groups with three in it, but I have two leftovers. So they don't get they don't get it, they don't need a plate because they're not an equal group. So I have three groups of three and two remainders. So how many have I got all together, boys and girls? So three, six, nine, 10, 11. So 11 can be divided into three groups of three with two leftovers. Let's have a look at our next example, boys and girls. So I have these blocks and I need to put them into groups of three, three. Okay, so let's try. So again, we'll, so we'll put three blocks. Another group of three. Put that there. Need another group of three. And one more group of three. Then we have one left. So let's have a look. So I have four groups with three in them and one left over. So let's see how many blocks we have in total. So we have three, six, nine, 12, plus one more is 13. So 13 can be made up with Four groups of three with one leftover or remainder. Okay, in our last example, boys and girls, is we need to put these little hexagons into groups of seven. Seven. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one group. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's another group. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Another group, and then I have these leftovers. So let's get rid of those. Okay, so I have four 
three groups of seven with one, two, three, four leftovers. So should we see how many blocks we had to start with? Okay, so we've got seven, 14, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 can be divided up into three groups of seven with four leftovers or remainders. There is a worksheet, boys and girls, that asks you to divide the shapes into equal groups to see where there are leftovers or remainders. Oh, boys and girls, all that counting and sharing has made me tired. Now that you know a bit more about division with remainders, your next lesson could be to learn more about our money and its value. Do you think we might go shopping? Why don't you come and join me and find out more?